Hi there! Here's the newly launched 55 inch Hisense Smart TV. And apart from it being packed with features, this one comes with 6 speaker built in JBL soundbar with a sound output of 102 watts. Yes, you heard me correct. I can't wait to experience it myself. So without wasting any time, let's quickly unbox it. We'll check out its features, display and the sound of course. But before we begin, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you never miss an update. Also follow me on my social media handles for more tech info. This is your friend Texing. Let's get started. On the front of the box, it mentions Dolby Vision, HDR, Dolby Atmos, 102 watt JBL speaker and bezel-less design. On the side is a label that shows us the MRP and the manufacturing details. So here are the contents of the box. You have some paperwork, you have a quick setup guide, you have a user manual and a warranty registration card. Here is a wall mount bracket. Then you have two plastic stands, silver coating, look really nice, look premium. However, I would have loved to have them in metal, but they're pretty sturdy, no creaking sounds and good quality. You have the screws to mount the stands. You have the remote and the remote is nice, simple, light, functional. You have the shortcut keys on the top for Netflix, YouTube, Google Play, Prime Videos, Disney, Input. You have the Google Voice Assistant, the D-pad, back button, home button, the mute button. Very functional. This is a Bluetooth remote, light and good. And of course, batteries are also provided for the remote. And one thing I really appreciate is that they provide the wall mounting bracket and the batteries in the packaging. So we have fixed the stands and table mounted the TV. The bezels are extremely slim, almost bezel-less I'd say. The back is made of plastic and feels really very well built. Most of the ports are on the side, while only the AV composite is behind. Would be really hard to reach after you've wall mounted the TV. On the sides are antenna, three HDMI ports, two USB-A ports, 3.5 headphone jack, ethernet and optical. HDMI 1 port also supports ARC to connect to soundbars or home theater systems. On the front below the display are the 6 JBL speakers covered with grey mesh fabric. This looks super premium. It's literally like a soundbar attached to your TV. It has the JBL branding on the left, Hisense branding right in the center and Dolby Vision Dolby Atmos towards the right. The ring around the logo is also a light that stays on when you turn on your TV. The design and the use of fabric on the TV are really, really impressive. So let's turn on the TV. Meanwhile we set up, let's have a quick glance at the specifications of the Hisense Tornado A73. 4K DLED VA panel with a resolution of 3840 by 2160 pixels. 2GB RAM with 16GB internal storage. MEMC to reduce motion blur. JBL 6 speaker built-in soundbar. Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos support, dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0 and Android TV 9 OS. And there we go, we're ready and booted and we have the app row on the top, we have Netflix, YouTube, Google Play, Google Play Store, Prime Videos and Media. And we have the row of contents down below. Wow, so we have from Disney Hotstar, YouTube, great. Let's go to the settings and check out the Android version number. So the device is running Android 9 Pi. So we're back on the home page. It's pretty responsive. It's smooth. We have no problems navigating. Let's go to the app launcher. We have Netflix, media, prime videos, Google Play, Google Play Store, YouTube. We have a browser, live TV, screen sharing. Shall test this as well. And Disney Hotstar. So you want to download more apps. You can go to the Google Play Store, sign in and download more apps. Once you've logged in, you'll see tons of apps that you can download from here. The VLC player, Sony Live, MXTV, TuneIn, Spotify. It has over 5,000 apps and games that you can download from here. Let's check out YouTube. So here is a YouTube video playing at 4K and it's playing without any lag or stutter. The color reproduction is really good and more tuned to look natural and not oversaturated. The blacks are deep enough. The images are crisp and sharp thanks to the good brightness levels. The company claims it has 400 nits peak brightness and 5000 is to 1 contrast ratio. It has a 60Hz refresh rate and videos are playing smoothly even when the motion enhancement is set to clear. The TV comes with MEMC chip which basically is a motion blur reduction and makes videos buttery smooth. 
You can turn it off or set it to smooth if you like in the settings. It's ideal when you watch sports content. You can see each and every detail even when things are moving fast. Check that out. That's amazing. Also tested other OTT apps like Disney Hotstar. The app experience was really good. And the best part is that the TV supports Dolby Vision and there is a lot of content now available on Hotstar. Let's play a video. You see the Dolby Vision logo on the top right. The video looks absolutely stunning. Also, if you want to go in the picture menu, you can see the TV already knows that it's playing Dolby Vision file. You can change it from light, dark or custom as per your preference. Let's check out Netflix. And there you go, the interface is smooth as silk. Playing a video and it plays without any hiccups. You can also change the audio or subtitles if needed. Here is a setup box demo of some HD and SD channels and they look really nice. HD channels are extremely crisp and sharp. The SD channels are also pretty much viewable. The AI upscaler technology is upscaling SD content very well. Here is a 4K file being played from a pen drive on the TV's media player. Tested MKV and MP4 formats and they played perfectly fine. Watching 4K content is a delight. Alright, coming to one of the biggest features of this TV, the sound. So first a little info about the speakers. It's a front firing 6 speaker system from JBL. 4 full range drivers and 2 high frequency drivers. I can't wait for you to hear the sound. Here's a quick demo. Wow, so these are totally going to blow you away and I'm not just talking about the volume but the clarity, it's stellar. The bass is extremely well tuned, it delivers a good thump. The mids and highs are excellent, clear and crisp, crystal clear actually. You can feel the richness of the sound quality, it's that good. The built-in JBL soundbar with amazing sound quality is one of the biggest pros of the Hisense Tornado TV. Since this is an Android TV, we get Chromecast built-in, so you can cast content from supported apps but that will need Wi-Fi connection to work. What won't need Wi-Fi is mirroring. So screen sharing comes pre-installed on this TV. Just turn it on, go to your phone's mirroring or cast option and click the TV's name. Your phone will mirror on the TV screen. But remember, this will only work with Android phones. The mirroring is quite smooth. Let's play a video and see. There you go. The video is mirrored and is playing without any lag. Coming to the price, so the 55 inch Hisense Tornado A73 series is priced at 44,990 and it will be going on sale on 24th of December. You can buy it on Amazon, Flipkart, Reliance Digital and Tata Click. The price includes the installation and the wall mount, just in case you wanted to know. I'll leave the links in the description, if you like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. So for a TV with built in JBL soundbars, this seems like a really good price. But if I had to nitpick the cons, metal stands would be better. Not that the plastic ones that come along aren't sturdy, but metal would probably look a little more premium. Also at times I felt that the backlight was a little uneven, but not something that affected my viewing in any way. I shall surely cover that in a follow up video soon. I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, mention it down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.